Once again, I'd like to recap what we uh, learned from the physical intervention uh, model. Uh, physical intervention, as you all know, is the use of direct or indirect force, which could be bodily, physical or mechanical, to limit someone's movement. Right? When you are using physical intervention, <coughs> it must be used as a last resort. In which case, you must have exhausted all other options. So, if you use all other options, such as your conflict management techniques, your defensive physical skills, and you use your dynamic risk assessment, you will agree with me that you will end up not using uh, physical intervention at all. all right? However, if you find yourself using physical intervention, you must use a low-level force. A low-level force. I hope you all understand what I meant by low-level force. Yes, you are not to use the techniques to either injure yourself or to injure someone else. You have to use physical intervention to protect yourself or someone from danger, right? And to disengage from harmful contact, right? Moving forward, I'm going to be teaching you our uh, 11 techniques this morning, of which you are to demonstrate 10 for your assessment. All right, the last two, double escort on steady down the stairs and up the stairs is compulsory for all of you. Then you can choose eight out of the remaining nine. Right? For the physical intervention techniques, you need four tools. Four tools. The first one is your claw. Can you do your hands? This is claw. Can you see this? Claw. Claw. Instead of you grabbing someone, you use your claw to hold them. When you grab someone who has a very sensitive skin, you leave them with bruises. So you're better off <coughs> holding them with your claw without any pressure, right? So if you bruise someone, they might take you up on that, right? So the next one is your triangle. 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 <laughs> For this techniques, you probably won't use the triangle. Yes, yesterday I demonstrated to you uh, the chicken uh, wing. Oh, right? Yeah. Okay. So I don't have that techniques here. The next technique is your tripod. Your standing position as a security operative must be like this. Can you stand like this, please? This is tripod. You're more stable when you stand in this manner than when you stand like this. When you stand like this, anybody can just pull you down, right? But when you stand in this manner, you're more stable and your, your, your feet are very firm to the ground. Yeah? Okay. Okay? That's tripod, yeah? The next one is fish tail. Fish tail. Can you do your hands like this? Now, your thumb. Your thumb must be parallel to the other fingers. Your thumb must be parallel to the other fingers.
Now, fish tail. Can you see? Yeah. When the fish <coughs> is swimming, the tail is going to be in this manner. Fish tail. So when you are disengaging from a handful contact, yeah, what you do first is your fish tail. Fish tail, then over the tongue. Among the five fingers. Is there anyone with six fingers here? Oh, you got six fingers? All right. Six fingers? You got six? Okay. Now, there, there are some people with six fingers. Now, for people with five fingers, right, the weakest of the fingers is the tongue. So you always go over the tongue when you are disengaging. You go over the tongue when you are disengaging. All right? Now, the first technique is going to be one referred to as finger pointing. This happens when an aggressor comes to you. Yes? And is pointing at you. How do you disengage? Come on. Now, he's going to be an aggressor. All right? And as a security operative, what do you do? Yes? You need to disengage. And how do you do that? All right? Now, point out me. No, no, I'm the security. Yes? Can you see that, guys? So what do you do? Step back. Step back. That is telling him that he should get back. Yeah? You're not taking that. Because he doesn't know what the next action is going to be. Come here. All right. Do that. Step back. Step back. No. All that normal circumstances, when you say step back, yes, it's going to... Oh, he doesn't know what's going to happen next. Yeah, that is what that technique is for. Again, do that. Step back. Guys, can you see my feet? It's flat to the floor. Flat. And can you see my hands, please? Guys, can you see this? This is what I like to see. All right? Now... Can you see that? All right. Now, the next one is single cross wrist grab. Single cross wrist grab. Grab my wrist? No, gently. For the purpose of this assessment, gently. In a real life situation, you're not going to give your hand to someone to hold. Yeah? So, now, can you see? Single cross wrist grab. All right. Now, what do you do? Fish tail. Okay. <coughs> Over the top. Can you see my hand? Before you disengage, you do the fish tail. Over the top. Step back. Step back. I'm going to do it again. So what is holding the hand? No, 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 no. For this purpose, there's no point holding my hand. Yeah, very tightly. In a real situation, if that happens, you carry out your risk assessment and think of the best techniques to use. Right? Okay. Now. Yeah. Fish tail, over the top, step back. Can you see that, guys? All right, the next one is single parallel wrist grab. Parallel, this parallel, right? Again, what do I do? Fish tail, over the thumb, yeah? Step back. 
The next one is double parallel wrist grab. Double parallel. Yes? So what do I do? Fish toe. You open it like a book. Can you see my hand, guys? Yes? Step back. Do you see that? All right. I'll do that again. Fish toe. Yep. Open like a book. Yeah? <coughs> Step back. Then the next one is double shoulder grab. Double shoulder grab. Because some people, they have uh, nails in their fingers. So you need to be very careful so that you do it gently, take the hands off, put them together before you push them. If you don't do that, you may end up hurting yourself. Yes? So, you're going to see I'm going to do this. You use your claw. Right? Claw to the wrist. Claw to the wrist. Can you see? Take it out. Put it together. Put in. Step back. Now, Look at it, you're too close to the wrist, take it out, join it together, push, step back. Do we all understand that? Yeah. Yeah. Then the next one is double clothing grab. Double clothing grab. What did you say? Okay. <laughs> now, this one is like a snake sign. So what you do? Put your hand to his wrist. To his wrist. Can you see this? By the time you do that, this side tilts downwards. Yes? You try it with this, push him to the other side, step back. You get that? Okay, I'll do that again. To the wrist, join the other hand, put that way, step back. The next one is single clothing grab. Single clothing grab. Single clothing grab. You use the hand further away. Yes? You use that to distract him. Yes? He doesn't know what you want to do. Don't confuse them. Use this one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Distract him with this. Use your claw. Hold the wrist. Yeah. That way. Step back. All right. Now, if he's using uh, this hand, yes, this is the furthest. Use this to distract and use your claw. To grab the wrist, yes, push him that way. Step back. That's not aggressive. Now, the other one is single escort compliant. You use this when you have a customer, yes, who is possibly drunk and is just going about the places. It's not aggressive, it's compliant. If you ask him to jump, he will jump. You ask him to sit down, he will sit down. So it's not giving you any aggros. It's not giving you any, you know, stress. Yeah? So, but you want to take him out of the venue. What do you do? Come on. Now, I'm going to need to take him out. So you use your claw. Don't grab him. Because if you grab, you are exerting force. Right? And you might leave him with bruises and it might take you up from that. So you use your claw. Can you see that? On the tribe set. Yes? No, that's elbow. Above. Oh, above. Here, here. 
John, can you see my hand? Yes. Please help me. Can you see my hand? Okay. You just use your claw and use the other hand. Yes? To show him the way. Let's go. You've had so much drink today. We'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget your compliments. Yeah? All right. Okay. See you tomorrow. Have a nice rest. In this case, it's compliant. You don't need to mm -hmm. stay step back. It's not aggressive. It's gone yeah, it's gone for the day. <laughs> it's gone for the day. Right? <laughs> now, the other one is chair restraint. Chair restraint. <laughs> yes. Chair restraint. <laughs> you use this. If you're keeping. Sit down. Assuming this is the security office and you're keeping him there, maybe you've called the police to come and pick him up, right? But why are you expecting the police? Yes? You want to keep him there, yeah? Your knee to the back of the seat and your feet flat and you're standing in a tripod position, right? Now, you take your two pounds to his shoulder. Right, try to get up. <laughs> yes, can you see that? However, don't do that when you are the only officer in the room. Because if it's someone who is heavier than you, he might end up turning around and deal with you. So you need to be very careful. Always carry out your dynamic risk assessment. Always. Thank you, buddy. Now, the next one. Yes, uh, the last two is when you're supporting uh, someone who is on steady. Yes, either going down the stairs or coming up the stairs. And this is how you do it. This is used, usually carried out by two operators. Right? So you put your hand underneath. Yes? And put it to your chest. Right? Use the other hand to support yourself. Yes? If you're on the side of the handrail, you support <coughs> yourself with the handrail. If you're on the side of the wall, you support your hand with the wall. Yes? And you move gently one by one. One step at a time. One step at a time. Don't forget, this has to be done by two operatives. And always make sure the subject is okay. You always need to check. Duty of care at all times, guys. Duty of care. You need to talk to him, make sure he's okay throughout the movement down and up the stairs. Is that okay? Any question? So for that, those two videos, you're getting... Basically, two people are going to do it. Yes. And they're both going to get the. No, 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 that's the way I do it. Don't worry. Well, you know, he just did that to me here, yeah? 